Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a persistent comment or annotation in a column chart. So let's say for example that we have a column chart here and maybe we have some data where it's kind of an exception and we want to kind of mark it with a note or a comment or annotation and here's an example of one of them and here's an example of another one. But let's say that this is also a chart where the table that we have that sourcing that this chart is sourcing from is also growing. So for example, uh, if, if it were to grow down from March to April and then May and June, July, we would kind of expect that the column chart here would kind of move over to the left as we increase the number of months here from 2001 and kind of move over to the left. And we'd kind of also expect that these comment boxes would move since they're kind of aligned to certain column series, uh, to certain data points, that they would move with them. But that's not always the case. So let's say, for example, we pulled in some additional data. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this data from April to January here, this April to January, and just copy it. Uh, select that, Control C to copy, and then go under here, Control V to paste. And now, now you'll notice, and it didn't really pick up the other ones so clearly, but uh, now you notice that uh, this particular note did change, and this one didn't. This one stayed uh, at that point but this one moved with the column. This one was supposed to be here. Actually, let me go ahead and change this a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the it didn't pick up the other columns here down to uh, row 25. So let me go ahead and go to the format, oops, design, and go to select data, and let's go ahead and select this one. This should go to 25. All right, click OK, and now we kind of have a better a view of the data. So this is year 2000, year 2001, and this kind of repeated here. But this is basically showing uh, the example where this particular note kept with this, even though it moved, but this one didn't. Notice that Feb March was supposed to be around here in the original. And what we usually have to do is we'd have to kind of place that and kind of move it with there. Now, we really didn't want to do that because we want to have it be a little bit more dynamic, a little more persistent, where it, when the column shifts, this note or annotation shifts with it. And let me show you how to do that. Go ahead and I'll take the data. Actually, let me go ahead and take this data here. Okay. Select this data. I'm just go select up to March like we did before. Control C to copy. Go into sheet two here and then control V to paste. Now we have our data here. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create that chart now. Let me go ahead and click in here in my little range of data. Go into insert and go and insert a column chart. So Excel is pretty smart enough to know once we insert into this range, it's going to guess that we're going to select from A1 to C16 and accordingly populate the chart in this column chart here. So I'll go ahead and just remove these grid lines here. Kind of like it a little bit clean. So what we want to do now is we want to put a little marker here, a little comment note for this particular uh, column because this is the one that's kind of an exception to the rest of the data. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a graphic there. Let me go ahead and select insert and we're going to put in a shape. So under the illustrations group, we have our shapes uh, groupings. And I'm going to go ahead and just going to use uh, this one here, this call out, this line call out here. And I'm going to just kind of draw it into place. And we're going to just move that down here and just kind of move that down here. So it's going to stick up on top here. And I'm just going to call this, I'll just say, uh, no, this was a good month. These are sales. Uh, so maybe extra advertising, extra marketing, I guess we can say for that. Control A to select everything. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make that a little bit smaller. And maybe I'll just make this wider. Yeah, make this a little bit wider. And then go ahead and center that. And so I'm going to move this a little bit too. Move that there. Now, so what maybe what we usually do is we can go ahead and select the, this particular uh, shape, control C to copy, go into the chart area here, control V to paste, and we would move this into here, right? And that, this would give us the same dilemma if we added additional data here. Uh, this would shift over to the left, and then we have to move that. And we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that it's persistent and stays with this particular column. Let me go ahead and delete this. The way that we would do that is that we would incorporate another chart in here, basically an XY scatter chart. And so this turns into a combination chart. And what we would do is I'm going to go ahead and put an X here. Uh, let me just make that a capital X and then a capital Y. 
and then the x is going to be uh, this particular axis, the x-axis. So the, I'm going to choose 12 because that's the 12th data value, right? 12 month, 12th data value, but basically we're looking for the 12th data value here. And for y, we're going to look for something that is a little bit higher than this. Uh, let's see, December was this value. Uh, we're going to make it like 5. You, you're going to have to play with it with your own data if you choose to do this, but this was about 570, right? And so let me go ahead and actually just kind of format that a little bit. I'd like to make this look a little bit nicer. And so now we have 12 and 570. And what we want to do here is we want to add another data point, another data series into this chart. So I'm going to go and select the chart area, right click, and go ahead and select data. Uh, the other way I can do this is also once I select another chart, go under design, and we have our select data command here. So I'll go ahead and select that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another data a series. And I'm going to call this one just comment. So I'll type in equal and then in quotes type comment. Right? And then close quotes. And then for the series value, I want to have this particular value. So that's going to be my y coordinate. So I want to what it's going to do is it's going to chart a column all the way up here in the first value. So I'll click OK. Uh, click OK and you're going to see that that is there. Now what I want to do now since that value is there is I want to turn this chart, this column chart into an XY scatter chart. So I can go ahead and right click it and go under change series types or I can, since this is clicked over here and we already have our design uh, tab here, I'll go ahead and click chart type here. And what I want to do is I want to change that particular series and make that instead of a column chart, I want to go ahead and select a XY scatter chart. So once that's selected, you'll notice that it kind of gives you a sample of what it's going to look like. So that's what I want to see. Go ahead and click OK. And I have that here. Now what I want to do is now it's turned it into that data series into a scatter chart. Now I can plot my X, my X value. Now this is selected. I can go under select data or I can right click it and go under select data. And what I want to do is I want to edit the comet series. So I'll click on that, click edit. And what I want to do is insert the X value. So basically what it does is if I select 12 here, it's going to go to the uh, 12 point here. And then it's going to go up to the 570 up here. And so you'll notice that it's already done that here. Let me go click OK, click OK. And we have our value there. Now, the last thing that we need to do to put this particular persistent note here is I'm going to go ahead and select that, control C to copy, and select my little point here, and then control V to paste. And now you notice that it's there. Now it's a little bit big, so I'm going to go ahead and just move the chart area down a little bit so it moves with it. So now we have our persistent uh, comment or note. And what I can do to show that this actually works is let me go ahead and add data here. So I'll add additional data here. Let's just add uh, up to, uh, let me see. We'll add about six months worth of data. Control C to copy, go under here, and Control V to paste. So you notice that it didn't add it in there because my chart did not include this additional range. The reason why I added here before because this was a table. You would notice that once I clicked in here, the table two showed up. But in sheet two, uh, I didn't paste it in and create a table out of it. This is just a range of cells right now. So what I can do actually here, let me just make the formatting a little bit better here so it looks like it's part of that table. All right. So what I did was I used the format painter here. And what it does is it just copies the format from one set of cells into the other set of cells. Now the reason why it didn't add it there is I didn't include it in my chart area. So if I click the chart and go under design and go under select data and I want to go ahead and select the uh, additional months that it's supposed to show, I'll go on the category axis here. See right here? What I can do is click edit and it goes to B16 right now what I need to do is have it go to B22. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on B22, click OK. Now let me go ahead and move this up a little bit. You'll notice that the data didn't show up because we, in addition to also adding the category axis labels, we have to add the data for our sales. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Sales, click Edit, and that should go to the series value. Let me go ahead and select, oops, let me go ahead and cancel that. Let me go ahead and select it again. Now the series value here, you'll notice that the marquee shows up all the way to C16. We want to have that show all the way up to C22. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Select C22, which is down here to the bottom here. So I'll click OK, and then click OK, 
and now, the, now you notice that our data is included. And also, that moved it, it shifted everything over to the left, and you'll notice that our comment box also shifted with it. wasn't over here, it shifted with this December data here. And so that's how you would create a persistent comment box. Uh, it makes it easier for you not to have to move things around if you add data to your chart. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Thank you.